to be honest, a few years ago, um, I was going through a breakup and I was in a space at work where things needed to change. So I looked really deep into myself and figure out what do I love to do. Playing tennis was a big part of my life and being active was a big part of my life. So um, I dug deeper into that and um, how yoga changed my life. I wanted to share that with other people. So um, I quit my job. Um, only way I was able to do that because I live at home now, which um, my parents gave me the space to find myself. And I'm super thankful for that. Um, so I was able to quit my job um, and then really just full-fledged leaped into this profession and I haven't looked back since. I think she's changing every day. Um, I don't think she, she molds, she changes, she grows, she blooms differently every day um, and what is expected of me in those days changes too so um i know that i am resilient i know that i can if i have a goal i'm very like focused on that um but who i am i know i have a good heart i know um i want to share that with other people um but i feel like you change and you grow and you evolve every every time. It's still an everyday thing, making the right choice for yourself too. Um, and sometimes you don't, you know, and that's okay, you know. And there's a lesson in that too. So um, mm. that's okay too. So you can make the wrong decision, but have grace for yourself. Make the right decision, but embrace that and um, celebrate that too. You know, um, we're all in this together. You know. Start with what you like and what you love. Um, find time, like genuinely find time for that. Um, I know I've been there and I still find myself growing from each step um, in a rut, right? There are new levels, like there are levels of ruts you can have, right? But also taking that action and finding what you do love to do and really dig deep on what you do on your everyday life that brings you joy and really focusing on that and um, no matter how little no matter how big um one small step right and that one small step to leads to another step and another step and within those steps allow yourself grace as well and i think grace has been a huge part of my life um this word for the past year year and a half and um it's really leaning into um the bigger picture of you can do this, but it, it'll take time and be patient with yourself. What do I need? Um, I know I sound crazy, but my mat. Sometimes I feel like my mat is one of the only safe spaces I have. And to be able to just free yourself there. Like tangible things, I need my mat. Like I bring my mat with me everywhere. I have a mat at home. I have a mat at car, in my car. I have a mat at work. It's, I, it's always with me. Um, as non-tangible, what do I need um, to survive? I think um, love from friends, love from family, support from friends, support from family, community. Um, I don't know where I would be without um, some people in my life that support from people and being able to be yourself you know like really really genuinely finding people who support you and pour into you just as much as you pour into them i came across them um, about 10 years ago and the way i found them was what i was personally interested in um, if you find yourself being by yourself, what do you personally love to do? And I loved fitness. I also love art. So I had a choice to do um, an art studio or go to the gym. And I kind of did both, but I really fell into the um, gym fitness part aspect of my life. And um, the community that the community that I stepped into was already established, but they welcomed me with open arms and um, 
yeah, I've, I've felt their warm embrace and I'm super, 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 super thankful. And I don't think I would be here where I am without them, especially one person, one of my best friends, my brother, Joseph, um, he definitely pushed me to do all of this. So I'm very thankful for him. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys joining us here for Freedom at the Nod today. Thank Rebecca for joining us and sharing her story. I hope that you found her story to be inspirational. And I hope that everyone does the work that you need to do to live your authentic life. There is only one you, there is one Olivia, and why waste time trying to emulate anyone else? You can be the very best version of yourself or you can be a bad version of someone else. You choose who you want to be in this life. Don't be afraid to do the work. Don't be afraid of what you're going to find. Because as Rebecca said, wrong decisions ultimately are right, right? Right for your path. So may God be with you and I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.